this video is very very thoughtful because I cannot expect any of you guys like the love I have for you guys is so much so I don't want anybody to be going into the year 2020 like the new and beautiful year without having this product <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Banjo and if it's your first time stopping here, a very big welcome to you. And if you came back here to see my lovely and beautiful face, welcome. Thank you for coming here either ways. Anyways, I am Timmy Banjo. I am a beauty blogger, a lifestyle beauty blogger, beauty enthusiast, content creator and a beauty influencer in Lagos, Nigeria. So from the title of today's video, you will be able to guess what I'm about to say. Either ways, I'm just going to say now that this video, this is just like a disclaimer. This video isn't sponsored. This video, I'm not trying to say that all the products I mentioned here are the ones you should get, are the exact ones you should get. You can get something similar to it or something close to it. I'm just here to show you what I have. So if you can get something close to it, perfect, fine. It will work either ways. So let's just jump right into this video. So the first thing on my list is the beauty blender. I mean the beauty sponge. This is the Allure by Chloe beauty sponge. This is just like a prototype. And the reason why I like this beauty sponge is because it's not as thick as the ones we know. This is very small right now. Oops. This is very small right now, but by the time I soak this beauty sponge, it swells up. And the reason why I said I like this beauty sponge is because it is not like this other one. This one is a little bit thicker, and by the time you wash it, you notice that the stain or the foundation or whatever it is doesn't go off completely. So you still have streaks of dirt there. But this one, once you wash it, I mean, it becomes clean newly clean that is why i love this one it's just so soft and it has some i don't understand i don't know how to explain it i just want you guys to get it another good example is the white glam beauty sponge this sponge is so soft initially this is how it looks when it's dirty and you know i have used this for foundation concealer and also to set my um highlighted areas and look at what it looks like when i wash it it looks completely new so let me know if you have any of these products and if you can relate because when i use this other when i use this other thicker one the dirt doesn't come off completely and it just bothers me so much i know it's not something to bother me but it just bothers me so much i just had to look for an alternative Okay, so the second thing on my list is moisturizers. These days, people are knowing so much more about moisturizers. For me, I have a dry skin. Sometimes it's always excessively dry. And other times, it's combination skin. It depends on the weather. But most of the time, right here in Nigeria here, my skin is always dry, especially my face. And I would rather moisturize than use a primer. I mean, I'll just use a moisturizer and then apply my makeup. So people are using moisturizers these days and it gives your makeup a totally different, like it takes your makeup to another level, another level entirely. So this is what I use as my own moisturizer. This is the Elizabeth Harding um, body lotion. So I use this on my face to moisturize my face also and my, makes, my makeup comes out really nice although I still end up having dry under I probably because of the setting powder or so but it's totally fine um, other moisturizers you can use are you ha uh, there's the Omari Code X Brega moisturizer that one too is good I see a lot of people using it then there's the Miss Metics Miss Cosmetics moisturizer also I hope I got that right that primer, sorry, that moisturizer also is very good and there are tons of others. There is the MAC moisturizer, there are so many other ones that you could get but please make sure you get one and moisturize your face before you apply your makeup because it does a whole lot to your face. Even if you have an oily skin, make sure you moisturize, put your primer, your mortifying primer and go ahead with your, the rest of your makeup, alright? So next on my list is the concealer. This is a concealer I am loving so much. This is the Juvia Place Concealer and uh, many of you would have seen it all over the place. This concealer, 
I know I haven't tried a lot of concealers late, um, of late. I mean, I stick to one particular thing most of the time, and then when it's time to get something new, I do. I get something new. But this Juvia Place concealer is the truth because it is full coverage first things first and so creamy there are many other concealers that are creamy there's the nuban concealer there's the LA girl concealer i think the LA girl concealer is somebody's hitting something i don't know just my neighbors i can't fight them please just bear with me there is the LA girl concealer i think that one is more water based but this one right here is very creamy and there are so many other creamy concealers so like i said you don't have to necessarily get what i am saying you can go ahead and buy other creamy concealers there's the nars creamy radiant concealer there is the Nuban in my skin concealer so many other good ones that you can get all right just go out there get creamy concealers and see for yourself what i'm trying to say okay another thing on my list now is eyeshadow i don't know if i should call it eyeshadow or eye works whatever i'm going to name it but these days right here in nigeria in lagos where i am makeup artists are stepping up their game many makeup artists cannot you can't you hardly see a makeup artist just do eyeshadow and you know leave it these days makeup artists are getting pigments there's something called pigments or that's what they call it it's kind of like a loose eyeshadow but now there is this pigment that has kind of i don't know color fusion you know it changes color once you turn here it shows blue green purple you know I mean messes up your mind so these are a few that I have here this is the Lusta pigment here and I'm going to swatch one of these for you so you will see what I'm trying to say I have Titan and Heist here make sure you get pigment and of course there are other pigments you can get there's the white glam pigment there's the um this is this is Lusta pigment there is the Juba foil pigment there is there are other pigments, there are even some from NYX, there are some from MAC, but I'm talking mostly about Nigerian products here because most of my products that are new, that I am loving a lot, are Nigerian products. So I'm just going to swatch the Titan pigment for you guys to see, so you understand what I'm trying to say. This is my hand and here it goes. This, can you see this? Can you see it has a, like a color fusion? but this is just what it looks like on my hand now imagine what it will look like when you have an eyeshadow base that complements this pigment it's going to give you so much radiance so much brightness this isn't even doing justice at all honestly this isn't doing justice i wish i could create a look maybe i'll do that some other time let me know if you you know let me know if you like to see me if you like to see a look I create using pigments so I can show you the full effect of the pigments I'm talking about okay so get yourself a pigment and step up your eye work all right don't go out with ordinary eyeshadow again be using pigments now all right moving on another thing on my list right now is drum roll eyebrow tint eyebrow tint eyebrow gel eyebrow stay eyebrow wax people are not leaving their eyebrows to be flying around these days they are getting a grip of it so these are a few eyebrow what will i call these two are eyebrow tints and i use them almost every time and this is an eyebrow gel this is from blood cosmetics it's a clear gel one when i want to do a natural eyebrow look this is what i go for mostly but this this is the younger beauty um eyebrow gel or eyebrow tint this one has little bit of glitter should i call it glitter or like what was it called tinted yeah tinted is tinted base so it gives you a little bit of tint shines and you know makes your eyebrow look really radiant it's good for party looks and this is just the normal eyebrow tint this is very brown this is one i'm wearing on my eyebrows right now i don't know if you can see this but see how neatly it looks like it brushes your eyebrow in place gives it a tint and also makes it look really really natural look at how my eyebrow looks natural so this is the one i'm wearing right now and the name is Max Touch if you want to get it in the shade color 3 they have other shades that are darker some are lighter I think 
color two is darker i'm not sure but i'm always using color three this is the eyebrow tint i use and this is going to like change your eyebrow game makes your eyebrow look really nice look really natural and put into place so get yourself an eyebrow tint all our eyebrow tints are the mac eyebrow tint we have so many like i can't even mention um enough but the ones I trust, the ones I've been using are here. And we also have eyebrow wax. There's the TM Beauty Essential Eyebrow Wax. That one just puts your eyebrow into place. Like, it makes it stay in one place and it doesn't move. So, once you, like, put use your eyebrow pencil to draw on a shape, it looks really nice and natural. Alright. We're moving. We're moving. We're making progress. The next thing on my list. What else? Lip gloss. <laughs> I'm excited but I love lip glosses and you know that lip gloss is here to stay can I get an amen <laughs> anyways the next on my list on my list obviously on my lips the next on my list are lip glosses or is lip gloss and I'll just be showing you a few that I have here especially now especially the ones with glitters the ones with shimmers in it come on those are the ones that I'm loving these days like just take all my money take 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 all my money if I see any lip gloss with shimmers in it come on I lose my mind so you know that lip gloss is here to stay I know lip gloss lip glosses or lip gloss forgive my english lip gloss was raining back when we were in primary school or where in the 90s where we just put vaseline sometimes we put coconut oil or we put granite oil <laughs> and then we just wanted our lips to shine before you knew it ah, but lipstick came out everybody was moving around with dry lipstick but now like if you if you don't have lip gloss on your lips, your look isn't finished yet. You need to go back to your makeup artist and ask for lip gloss. Tell them to gloss it up, okay? So these are a few lip glosses I have, and most of them are with shimmers. This is the Elf lip Elf lip gloss. Of course, it has the shimmers in it. This is um LA Pride lip gloss. It has shimmers. This is the Shayla X Color Pop lip gloss. It has shimmers in it. Um, this is the Glam Girls lip gloss. It has shimmer in it. I'm telling you, I'm all for the shimmers. Then this is obviously woo -hoo -hoo, my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. It has shimmers in it also. This is the Maybelline lip gloss. It has shimmers in it also. And this is the um, what's it called? Black Opal lip gloss, which also has shimmers in it. This is a lip liquor or lacqua crystal pink which also has shimmers in it. This is so nice. The shimmers comes out really really beautiful like oh my god. Anyways, get yourself lip glosses. I'm not going to mention any brand of lip glosses. There are so many brands of lip glosses. But just make sure you get the one with shimmers, the one with glitters and try and understand what I'm talking about. I mean, okay? Moving on, and the next on my list now are eyebrow pencils, but not just your regular eyebrow pencils. These are the new eyebrow pencils everybody is coming out with, and these are Nigerian brands. They come very thin like this, and what this reminds me of is the Max Stored Lip um, Eyebrow Pencil, because this is almost how it looks like, or the ABH Eyebrow Pencil also. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a very tiny brush here that you can use to control your eyebrows, brush them into place. Oh, please focus, darling. Okay, so it comes with this very tiny brush you can use to brush your eyebrows into place. It's kind of looking really tacky right now because this is what I'm using. And then the eyebrow pencil itself is so thin. See how thin it is? Imagine drawing your eyebrows with this. Like, how will you make a mistake? These are the new eyebrow pencils now. And there are tons and tons of products that come with this design. These days, mostly Nigerian brands. So I'm going to be mentioning a few of these eyebrow pencils. Right here, I have the Beauty Line by Didi. And I have the Omari Code eyebrow pencil here. And others you can get. You have the MAC Stud eyebrow pencil but that one is a little bit pricey these ones are cheaper they are like they go for like 1000 1500 naira so you your best bet is to buy this one this one i used on my eyebrow is 
the beauty line by dd eyebrow pencil so there are tons of other eyebrow pencils you can get there are so many i can't even start mentioning them so make sure you get yourself this type of eyebrow pencil if you want to step up your eyebrow game okay don't say i didn't tell you i am your plug now this is not really a product but i am going to you know help you you know help you make your life easier better a spray bottle and this is not going to be new or very very uh, 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 for people that are with natural hair this spray bottle is not for hair i use it for makeup but guess what whenever you are seated you're about to start your makeup and you bring out your beauty sponge and you notice it is not wet how do you feel so once you are seated and you're about to start your makeup and you notice your arm, your beauty sponge isn't wet. You bring out your spray bottle and, you know, spray the life of the beauty sponge. You don't need to stand up and go anywhere. Just keep this beside you wherever your makeup is. Or just keep it with your makeup stash, your makeup bag or your, your beauty table or what's it called. And make sure it's always filled with water. This is just water, ordinary water. So this is what I just used to spray my beauty sponge and I'm ready to do my makeup because it could get so frustrating having to stand up to go and get your to go and wet your beauty blender. So just get this beside you and spray your beauty sponge. Another thing on my list is the setting powder or the translucent setting powder, whichever one you want to call it. So I have about a bunch of setting powders that I use from time to time. But the one I want to emphasize on for today is the um, translucent loose setting powder. One of it is the um, Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. There are some others that are not translucent, but the really the reason I'm recommending this translucent loose setting powder is because this takes the shade of concealer you are trying to set. It doesn't give you a lighter tone or a darker tone, or it doesn't change the color of the concealer you're trying to set. So a translucent loose setting powder is I'm trying to emphasize on the fact that it's a translucent loose setting powder you are supposed to get and of course there are so many translucent translucent loose setting powders you can get so make sure you like do your research look for many other translucent loose setting powders you can get and you know do yourself some good okay we are gradually moving to the end of this video and the last but not the least is doo -doo 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 drum roll again is the loose highlight these days if you don't have a loose highlight i'm not understanding i am not understanding have you layered a loose highlight on like another highlight or even layer loose highlights on loose highlights if you don't have a loose highlight get yourself on i mean they're totally affordable there are so many nigerian brands there's the yanga beauty there's the noban beauty and this one that i have right here is the hb ashabi grow loose highlight i'm going to open this up and show you what it looks like so this loose highlight looks like this Ta -da. and guess what you don't even have to do much most of the time when i want to use it i use the cover because if you are putting your brush into that big one you're just going to undo yourself so this is what a loose highlight will give you look at that this alone layered on another highlight most of the time i like to layer it on another highlight i don't like putting it on my skin barely like that i like to layer this up so if you're putting this on another highlight you are going to be blinging you're going to be the galaxy you're not going to be a star you're going to be galaxy itself your whole cheek is going to be the galaxy so make sure you get a loose highlight there are so many loose highlights you can get now. There are even some that have no name. I mean, they don't have a brand or brandless name. I think that one goes for about 1,500 now. But it's a little bit difficult to blend. So you have to be very, very careful when you're using that one. And make sure you go in very, very tiny bits of um, product on your cheeks. Okay, thank you so much. We have come to the end of this lovely beautiful and very informative video please 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 let me know if you have any of these products if you are going to buy any of these products just let me know let me see them and please don't forget to tag me 
um, I'm going to leave my Instagram handle, my Twitter handle. So if you get any of these products, if you have any of these products, and if you obviously can relate to any of these things I'm saying, please let me know in the description box down below or send me a message on Instagram also. Either ways, I'm going to reply you. I mean, I love seeing your messages. I love seeing your responses. It lets me know I am speaking to lovely people, okay? Please let me know. And if you want me to film any other thing, if you want me to if you want to see any other thing, if you want me to bring any information you want me to bring, I'm here for you. Please let me know also in the description box down below. And don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, 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 I need that subscription badly. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and become part of my amazing and lovely family. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.